use SLS with palette free version productively. So an example I will use is I will go to palette, go to community gallery, and then search for palette. And then this is the first lesson that appears. You can click on open it and you can let's say you like it a lot uh, this is the the lesson that has the palette that's on page three is over here the original embed code by the teacher and then the url so i need to change these two things so the first thing i need to do is i need to copy to my drive let's say i call this class e okay Okay, then I sort by last date modify, then you see there are many many classes here. So how do you uh, edit it is, let's say uh, this is class E and the embed code is here. So let me try to remove this embed code again because uh, yeah, that is, there's a bug I think. So the way I will try to remove the embed code because if I want to use this particular lesson, uh, I need to figure out a way to remove the embed code. So the, the trick is the embed code is not appearing so I need to figure out a way to to remove it. So I, I'm typing and I'm hoping to remove the to catch the embed code and then delete it. Lah. So it requires some trial and error. Lah. Okay, so it's gone now. Um then the next thing you need to do is you need to come here and link this lesson. So let's say this is for class E. I will now uh click on the URL which the teacher have left okay there are, there are many ways of doing it lah. so let's say this is the this is the teacher's original uh, palette that I want to remake so I click remake and I copy everything this is important okay then maybe say this is for class E because I, I teach many classes okay So now this is the new palette that is for class E. I copy the URL from here and I will go back to the lesson and uh, maybe change the URL change the URL. Okay, then uh, that should do it. I mean if you are afraid of losing content then you can paste it like that. Then it's very clear uh, what is to be click on okay so once you have this you just test that it works okay good okay so now the trick is um, because you want to create these different lessons so I need to come to my own palette account I need to check how many I have so I go to home okay so I have now three of these uh, palettes so this is for class A, class B, and then class E. So I made three. So the trick is if you have run out of the three free palettes, you can always uh, archive it. Lah. Okay. So let's say these are the three that I, I, I use for the lessons. Now I'm going to show you how you can come to the lesson A, B, and E. Uh, because I just changed lesson uh, E right so I click on lesson E I'm going to assign this to my classes so let's say my classes is already in a predefined class I'm not going to edit it come here set a common schedule agree to it okay uh, if you don't want to change anything then you click on this assign which is very important so that it gets assigned out to the class with the schedule okay so now I can go back to home so I'm going to try and show you how I'm going to switch to the student account and in my to-do I will have this new lesson this is lesson A, this is lesson E click on the lesson E you can see that now I am interacting with this lesson as if like a student and you can see I can I can come here and I can now make this uh, with all this scaffold that the teacher have left the seating wonder then I can come to this palette okay Assuming that this is not locked in, but it's just a normal student account, then they follow the example the teacher say. They can come here and then they can, let's say I'm, I'm group 5 and then can now type in. Okay. Then you can, you can get the student to, because they, they all know which palette they are using. 
So then this can be um, a record of how they can collaborate, they can look at each other's work so they can learn uh, collaboratively, lah, which is what I think the palette serve to do very well. So once the lesson is done uh, and then students have populated this, then you may want to keep a copy of this somewhere. So I recommend uh, using See, export okay and then typically i think the better format could be image or, or pdf lah, but let's say i choose pdf then i will publish okay so this pdf though looks uh, a little bit off but uh, that's because of the landscape i use so this is picture one picture two and then it goes down to picture three and picture four so it has all the let me see whether I can find the part which I type. Uh, yeah, so I can't find, but I think this is the uh, an example of how you can do an archive. So I'll save it. I'll save it to my hard disk. And then later on, uh, at the end of the lesson, so when the, when the lesson has is over after one week, I will come back to the assignment and then I'll upload this PDF inside here to serve as a and then I'll remove this I'll remove this link and then they, I will now put a, a new file here for the student to do a review as well as be able to look back and check their what they have answered lah. or let's say for example this lesson is required in the next week so you can also do this way to put the PDF here and then remove the palette link now uh, so that the, the student can then click on this and then see what they have done last week lah. okay so let's say you have the three palettes and everything is uh, very good in SLS already so now the, the issue now is in palette you have all this uh, you go to home so you have all this uh, palette because let's say you use collaborative canvas extensively so the one way is you will notice that uh, palette only allows you for for three free palette but palette is very kind they allow you to archive okay i will archive this once you archive this then you're back to the the the, the zero uh, count of your three maximum of three free palettes huh? so let's say you you already archive it and then uh, let's say some some months later then something happened then you want to check back you want to reactivate the same palette you can do the unarchive then it will appear in your unarchive list again so this is a very quick way to quickly get to use SLS and together with palette okay, to create a very nice and very collaborative lesson